Hold up, man. You already. Damn. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my Lord. That's how nervous I am, man. What up, man? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy E. You are not seeing a ghost. It's really me. Um, I think I done been going off YouTube for about two years now. And uh, has it been two years or a year and a half? It's been a long goddamn time, basically. Right now, I am hella nervous right now. My voice shaking because I'm talking to my damn phone. Whoo! Uh, I don't even know where to begin, really. Uh, I feel like I'm in front of a crowd, you know, doing some public speaking or something. Like, I'm, I'm overly nervous, more than I should be. But, you know, it is what it is. At least... I got the camera on. I really don't know what I'm gonna record today. And nine times out of 10, this is gonna be one sucky ass video, but I still need to do a video and get it out because it's gonna get me in a routine to um, recording and uploading videos on, on YouTube. So uh, anyway, I'm trying not to rant. See, I'm, I'm messing the video all up already, God damn. Um, you know what though that's what I'm going to do I'm going to keep all this in the video so y'all can see what the hell people got to go through sometimes when they're trying to record YouTube videos y'all like these glasses just being real I'm like let me throw these glasses on I think I look kind of cool right now I'm meeting one of my partners uh, his name Petro I'm meeting him at the gym we got basically a full body session uh, we're gonna start it off with some lower body first uh, some some warm-ups for lower body some hip abductors adductions and then we're gonna hop straight into squats okay Whew, I got scared I got my squat belt y'all bear with me please it's been quite some time since I've made a video and I ain't got you no know, flow down like I said I'm nervous I just want to record it don't really matter whether I like the video or not but I know once I start recording and putting videos out, I get into a flow, I get into a routine. My words and thoughts will be effortless. I appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just got to, what up, what up? You just got to throw yourself in front of the crowd, man. No matter if you're shy or not, you got to do it. <sighs> uh, probably get some, uh, Muscle milks. Uh, uh, need some caffeine. What a caffeine! Uh, what a caffeine! Uh, right here, right here, right here. So could I get this? I don't need to be too hype anyway. How you doing? Thank you. You too. Now I know a lot of y'all don't know what this is. And it smells just like the ocean. But um this here is called Can y'all see that? Sea moss. Now I really didn't want to share this with folks. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I was being, I wanted to be stingy with this information. But I shared anyway because y'all my peoples. CMOS is what I'm using to get stronger. I'm using it to strengthen my body. And this is how I was able to make some gains. Go from 400 pound squat to a 500 pound squat. Well, a little bit over 500 pounds. I did 510 last week. Um, as a matter of fact, we're going to throw a little video up there so I can see you, boy. So, yeah, that was, that was 510. And um, I've been taking this sea moss on a regular basis. At home, I have the... Uh, the actual capsules and I've never actually tried 
the actual whole sea moss not ground it up but what they do with the capsules all they do is, is dry it out and they will um, just grind it up and put it in capsules so that's what I've been using at home and I never tried the whole sea moss and this is the this Caribbean spot right here is the only place in Tampa that sells the whole sea moss so it's gonna be my first time trying it and it comes from the sea and it literally smells like the ocean it stinks I don't know how I'm gonna goddamn drink this but I'm gonna probably blend it up with some protein and get it down but anyway this is what I'm using to strengthen my body I done told y'all my secrets I wasn't supposed to say shit but it is what it is um, sea moss is the most mineral dense uh, food on the planet the body contains 102 minerals or it needs 102 minerals in order to function properly sea moss has 92 92 show me another food herb plant whatever that has 92 minerals that's actually bioavailable for the body um, and you really will see a big difference in your strength game let me focus on this driving and um, I'm gonna see y'all at the gym man Eat. Uh, all right See powerhouse gym. Oh shit, I almost dropped my goddamn cognac. Can't spill that. Set you right there, baby. Cannot spill that. Oh, so you ready, ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. Y'all done seen him on my videos before. You know what I'm saying? This is my guy Pat. I told y'all we finna do a full body. Out of the day, and uh, we finna get it on, man. All right, man. So let's just hop straight into this voiceover. Today's workout was supposed to be a full body workout, but we were pressed for time, so we decided to stick with just the lower body portion of the workout. And my lower body sessions consist mainly of squats. But before I begin any type of squat. I like to make sure that my hips are properly warmed up. So before I begin any type of squatting, I'd like to do hip abductors and hip adductors. And I also like to go as heavy as possible so I can make sure that I'm strengthening those muscles as well. Because strong hips will translate over to a strong squat. So make sure you're doing your hip abductors and adductors because it will translate over to having a strong squat. And so we did about four to five sets on the hip abductors and adductors. And then we moved over here to leg extensions. And we only did about two to three sets on this as well. I'm not sure how many reps, because again, we're not trying to necessarily go heavy on these leg extensions. We're really just trying to get some blood flow to the quads so that we can be fully primed and ready to go for our squat session. So, like I said, we did about two to three sets on leg extensions. And then we did the same thing with leg curls where we did two to three sets as well. Now, I know a lot of people neglect a proper warm-up before they squat. But I guarantee you, you do these hip abductors, adductors, leg extensions, and leg curls, you will see a big difference in your performance when you do your squats that day. And I know some of y'all probably wondering... Why in the hell is this man in the gym with some jean shorts on doing squats? And if I must be honest, God damn it, I'm trying to start a new trend, okay? I'm trying to start the squat with jean shorts on trend. If you want to be cool like me, you want to throw some jean shorts on and do some squats in them so people around you can think that you're cool. Okay, I know I'm lame. I'm sorry. Y'all got to forgive me. But on a serious note, though, a lot of lifting for me is mental and the fact that these jean shorts are tied around my quads, it makes me feel stronger. So, Eric, why don't you go buy some compression shorts? God damn it, because I don't want to, all right? I told you, I feel comfortable with these jean shorts on. I feel strong with these jean shorts on. And God damn it, I'm trying to start a new trend. I already told you that. Squat with the jean shorts trend, all right? And honestly, I think they kind of fly. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion, all right? Squat with the jean shorts trend. 
all 2020, goddamn it. If you want to be cool and fly like me, go get yourself some tight jean shorts and do some goddamn squats. Hey, y'all, I'm going to tell you what he just said, too. He said, don't record this set. He said, let him see if he can do the set first. I say, hell no. Now you forced to do it. Let's get it. For him, this uh, working weight of 365 pounds is a uh, PR, man. So, you got it? Four reps. Come on. Good shit. Good shit. Come on. He want to smile. What that boy want to smile, boy? It was kind of light, though. Oh, okay. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yes, sir. All right. So lately, I've been sticking to a very low rep range during my squat sessions. I'm talking one to five reps. And even this squat session, really, one to three reps. And that's because my back has been getting extremely sore during my squat sessions. And that's because I kind of didn't work my way up to this type of weight in this volume I kind of just jumped straight into it like soon as I started on the CMOS my strength just shot up and to be quite honest my body is not used to working with this amount of weight I haven't touched this type of weight in a long long time it's been years so until my body gets stronger and adapts to working with this amount of weight for working sets on squats I have to stick to a lower rep range so that my back does not get too sore and I can't complete my squat session. And once I saw how CMOS aided in my strength gains, I've been telling everybody in their mama about CMOS. Everybody at workout, if you're not taking CMOS, you should be taking CMOS, goddammit. I don't know what you've been doing. Throw the creatine in the garbage, throw the protein in. Okay, keep the protein. Don't throw the protein in the garbage. But throw everything else besides the protein in the garbage and get on some sea moss. Now, again, as I stated earlier in the video, sea moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals that comprises the body. Now, if you do not know, you should Google search and actually learn about this stuff man, and learn how the muscles actually contract. The muscles contract by way of minerals, particularly the electrolytes, your potassium, your calcium, your magnesium, your sodium. These minerals is what allows our muscles to contract properly. So if you haven't been making any strength gains lately, it could be that your muscles just aren't contracting properly. So therefore, you need to go ahead and get yourself some sea moss. Now, I'm not saying that CMOS is some type of magical pill, but CMOS is some type of magical pill. At least that's how it was for me when I first tried CMOS. Again, my strength just shot through the roof. So for me, it was magic. I'm acting like this a max or something. Funk ass man. I just got one rep. You know what, y'all some real ones, man. I I I, I like y'all. I mess with y'all. Y'all y'all straight up real. You know, you done made it to this point in the video. I can't do nothing but appreciate you. So if you done made it this far, go ahead and pat yourself on the back for being a true supporter. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. And like I said previously or at the beginning of the video, I know I've been gone for quite some time. I really regret it. Who knows how many subscribers I would have at this point. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I could be up to a million. I don't know. But I see that y'all, you know, support me. Y'all don't watch this long, and I really appreciate y'all. So with that being said, 
I'm going to try to give y'all at least one video a week. And I want y'all to hold me to that. Oh, Lord, I don't really know if I should have said that, actually. You know, I take that back, God damn it. I take it back. I don't like commitment. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to try to give y'all one video a week, man. And again, I appreciate y'all for sticking this far. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And turn the notification on so you can know when I drop my next video. I'm going to see y'all, man. Peace.